July 7th. Welcome to the noon. I'm Chris Welch. Thank you for being here. We've got new information from the Coast Guard this afternoon on the cargo ship fire that took the lives of two firefighters yesterday. The blaze ignited on a ship carrying more than 1,200 cars. It is still smoldering right now. Ashley Rodriguez is live for us with the very latest. Ashley. Yeah, at this point, the ship has been burning for 36 hours, and we learned at that news conference just about an hour ago that they expect it will continue to keep burning for the next couple of days. And until they can get it under control, they cannot get to the root cause of what ignited it. The fire broke out as the ship's crew was loading the 1,200 cars headed for West Africa. The Newark Fire Department got the call around 9.30 Wednesday night. Five to seven cars were on fire when they arrived. The flames then spread from the 10th floor to the 11th and 12th, the intense heat pushing back firefighters. Two veterans were unable to escape. Augustine Akabu and Wayne Brooks Jr., who have 26 years of service between them. Five other firefighters had to be treated for smoke inhalation. Now, fighting fires in ships is something Newark's fire department does not see often. And now, the concern is the firefighters were sent into an extremely complex situation that they were not properly trained for and possibly should not have even been fighting, especially with the limited equipment they had. Shipboard fires are very unique. Uh, they're constantly changing. Every single one's different. You can do all the training in the world and you're going to find something you've never seen before on a shipboard fire. So access is tough. Um, the heat is extreme. It's a steel box. So it's very complex situation uh, and you need a very good plan to be able to put firefighters in the vessel to actually put out these fires. Uh, the it's burning very hot, so currently a lot of the decks that are burning and the cars that are burning are inaccessible to our fire teams. Uh, so the best situation is to cool the vessel from the perimeter using the fire boats and using hoses from onshore and to uh, try to keep the fire from spreading. So those black marks that you can see on the ship behind me, those are holes. And the top one is where the fire started on the 10th floor, but it's continued to burn. And now it is at the seventh floor. And the entire port is being impacted by this fire. Right now, there are other cargo ships with cars that are anchored out there. They cannot dock until this fire is under control. Air quality is being affected as smoke continues to billow into the sky every hour. And as I mentioned, it will continue bill billowing for the next couple of days. The Coast Guard and NTSB are investigating and they said at that news conference that as this investigation unfolds, there will be a lot of lessons learned. Chris, we're going to have an update for you coming up at five. We'll send it back right, to you.